Before you hit the water, it's important to check the weather, especially the risk for inclement weather, air and water temperature, and wind conditions. It's no fun being on the water on a bad weather day, and even worse without the proper gear. If you're looking to get on some skinny water or float the Coosa below Jordan Dam, be sure to check the USGS stream gauge and or dam release schedule in your neck of the woods. It's important to stay hydrated and aware of your surroundings, especially if you're enjoying an adult beverage or two on the river. Here are basic rules for swimming safely on the Coosa. One, check swim guide for local water quality changes and don't swim after big rain events where water could be moving swiftly and water quality could be compromised by sewer overflows. Two, if you have any open cuts, wounds, or skeeter bites, keep them clean and covered. Three, wash off after a swim with soap. We know sometimes the lake feels like a bathtub, but it's not one. Here are some basic rules for boating safely on the Coosa. One, always follow ALEA boating rules and regulations. Have the appropriate number of PFDs on board your vessel. Do not drive under the influence. Keep a fire extinguisher, flare, cutoff switch, and horn on board. At dusk and dawn, deploy your navigational lights. Operate the vessel according to ALEA regulations and licensing. Two, wear a PFD that is rated for your recreational activity, your weight, and fits properly. Three, be mindful of other boaters, especially if you're pulling folks on skis, wakeboards, and tubes. We want you guys enjoying the CUSA, but we want you to stay safe.